Welcome to the ECM PCM computer replacement training video. Engine control computers can be complicated and frequently high priced products. Avoiding unnecessary replacements and warranty returns are important to professional technicians and consumers. Most problems resulting in warranty returns can be avoided by following the proper before, during, and after installation procedures. Start with the vehicle. Check for diagnostic trouble codes, DTC, stored in the vehicle's computer. Check for technical service bulletins, TSBs, and calibration flash updates issued by the vehicle manufacturer. Be sure to correct any issues before proceeding. Look at the current unit on the vehicle. Bad connections may cause a good unit to perform poorly. Clean all ground contact points and expose terminals. Unhook and reseat all connectors several times to remove any hidden corrosion. Make sure all connectors and pins are not bent or broken. Make sure wires are not loose, broken, or frayed. Shake all wires to check for intermittent shorts. Inspect the other components as it is unlikely a computer failed on its own. Computers receive information from many different sensors. Process the information and then send commands to other components throughout the vehicle. A voltage spike may have damaged the unit, or one or more of these input and output components may not be working properly. Check all input and output components as well as any other modules that supply information and power to the computer. Make sure they are operating properly. This will help to verify a new computer is actually needed and help prevent a bad component from damaging a new unit. Inspect the replacement computer. Verify that the computer you have ordered and received is the correct unit for the vehicle. Enter the OE number on the original unit in the catalog OE interchange area of our website to confirm that you have the correct replacement part number. Many computers must be calibrated or flashed before installation in a vehicle. If your new unit has stickers and or labels on the box indicating a flash is required, make sure it has been done before proceeding. Handle the replacement unit carefully. Avoid voltage spikes and static electricity. Do not touch the terminals. Static electricity can be released and damage the new unit. Always disconnect the battery, but make sure the ignition switch is off before you do. If the original unit in the vehicle has a removable chip, make sure you put that chip into the new unit. Make sure all connectors are fully seated and no pins have been bent or damaged in the process. Do not over torque any bolt on connectors. Connectors can be easily damaged. Don't forget to flash update the computer if required. If required, make sure to perform all the relearn procedures so the vehicle will perform properly. If the unit was replaced to eliminate a diagnostic trouble code, DTC, be sure to perform the proper road test and complete the drive cycle test to confirm that the trouble codes do not reappear. If the vehicle exhibits the same symptoms after the replacement as before the repair, it is unlikely that the replacement computer is at fault. When you follow these before, during, and after installation procedures and perform every step of the diagnostic process, you will help ensure that potential problems are identified before they reach the customer reducing potential comebacks and increasing customer satisfaction.